Hello everyone, this is a Platform Sync meeting. We're on October the 24th of 2023. And around the table today we have Kevin Martins, Damien Dupontel, Kenneth Salerno, and myself, um, Bruno Verschen. Thanks a lot for uh, sharing this half an hour with us. Uh, the agenda is not that big. We'll see how far we go in this agenda. We have one open action item. It's always the same um, uh, every two weeks. We also will discuss about the latest Java releases. Of course, we'll talk a lot about uh, Java 21 in infra, in Docker images. Uh, we'll talk about the latest work, if we have time, on the Docker images themselves. And that's all that I had. Did any one of you have something to add before we begin? I take that for a no. So let's go. Thanks a lot. Um, so the Blue Ocean Docker container, yes, it's been a long time. We still have to announce it properly to the end users. It is deprecated. So it may move still a little bit from time to time. I'm even not sure about that. I think it's almost dead, you know, uh, flat on Cephalogram. So um, I don't know how we will articulate that. I don't know how we will announce it to the end users, but one of these days we have to do it officially. I don't know if it will be on community Jenkins.io, on Jenkins.io website. I don't know, but we'll have to do that. Now, uh, I think that's Mark who added uh, the next uh, point about the latest Java releases. Um, we've seen, it was last week, yes, um, a few bumps into the uh, Java versions. It was Oracle patch day. And if we um, follow the link, we'll see what was the reason. Oh, it doesn't work that well. Oh, yes, it worked. Just took some time uh, because a few CVEs were discovered and it looked at the patches that we uh, discovered were linked to the correction of those CVEs. So it goes from uh, JDK 8 to JDK 21. So that's why we had quite a lot of versions, new versions to deal with lately. Um, Damien, is it something that you had to upgrade into the infra? I guess so. Yes, but partially, and same on the official images, because um, since most of the method is build, we build on top of Docker image provided by Timurin, mm -mm -mm. for instance, that uh, the 17 version is not available for Windows yet on oh. Docker images, while the binary are there since, since the patch day. So another good reason of maybe thinking <laughs> and switching to stop using the parent, uh, the multi-stage parent image, and instead download the zip and prepare it ourselves, like we did for early versions, for instance. Yep, got it. To using binaries directly. Ouch. Yep, thank you. Inheriting from the Timurin Docker image. That's a recurring subject, yeah. Of course, the um, uh, JDK binaries are available sooner than the um, end images for Timurin. At least that's what you um, saw in the previous month or even years, Damien. Yes, now it's recurring. Um, one okay. year ago, when we decided to use the parent Timurin image, uh, the only exception were the, uh, the let's say, the exotic CPU architectures. But mm -hmm. uh, Intel, IRM on Windows and Linux were almost all the time up to date. But since one year, it looks like they are lagging behind for providing the Docker images. Um, we could absolutely start discussion with the Timurian project to see if we could help as the Jenkins project because we are now having a high rate of delivering to Docker Hub a, a bunch of images. Yeah. Um, and sometimes maybe too much. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, for us, in order to be to gain some autonomy, especially with the rate of GDK changes we had these times, um, I think we should consider seriously that switch. Yeah, definitely. And um, they are using Jenkins to build <laughs> their JDK. So something to be done, I guess. <laughs> Thank you, Damien. Um, anything else uh, on that subject? Kevin, Kenneth? Okay, 
thank you. Uh, now to GDK21. Um, we had a Jenkins enhancement proposal. It all started uh, with a draft proposal for Mark. It may be a few months ago now. Um, and then it has slowly evolved into something else. The discussion has taken place into the community on various places. And now Mark has created a Jenkins enhancement proposal. So that's the first one I've ever witnessed. Um, that's funny. I didn't know that. That's pretty cool. Will it show or not? I hope so. Ye yes. And it has changed. Okay. Let me handle my mouse reel. It has changed in the um, latest days because the initial proposal um, was not the best one for everyone. So I think we moved uh, something from 12 months to 18. I should have prepared better, I guess. Um, <laughs> does anyone know better than me about the latest changes to the to Mark's proposal? Um, yes, there has been a discussion about when should the warning and uh, and red messages both uh, when should they appear. The, the the cursor is trying to find the, the correct middle ground between not too early. The discussion said because it fits too early, most of the user would say, "Oh, I will, I still have plenty of time." So there has been a discussion to have the first warning one year before the LTS instead of 18 months. Um, so yeah, that was on, on this threshold. When should we start the warnings and, and the red yeah. alert? Because uh, I guess that some end users said, you know, it's already a struggle to uh, have to upgrade a version of Java for us in 12 months. So yes, 18 looks more reasonable. Yeah, I, I think the it was, yeah, but on the other hand, 18 months is really early in the process, which uh, will have the tendency to say, hey, I still have plenty of time. I mean, look at what <laughs> happened with Ubuntu Bionic <laughs> oh, yeah. and the Python world. So we have... Oh, <laughs> got you. Yes, you're right. Uh, uh, we'll see. Just, just the point is that on the infrastructure, though, we are going to be really conservative. Once yeah. a GDK has been uh, is not updated anymore, such as GDK 11 in October next year, yeah. we consider one month max before ditching that GDK from the World Jenkins infrastructure. We will have to communicate on that in order to avoid problem. But yeah, November 2024, if your plugins are, or Docker images on the Jenkins project are still using GDK 11, that will break your builds. We well, don't want to run something progress. which is not patched. So that's yeah. that's that will be really hard to negotiate because once it's ditched, it means you cannot have security. And we don't want to risk running GDK that could have open wide uh, issues, security issues. That's the, yeah. the rationale behind. Good. And um, I find it somewhat uh funny um, that we have such a spectrum of plugin maintainers that don't think the same about the GDK version, for example. Lots of people say, ah, why do I have to quit using GDK 8, for example? And some other ones are already saying, um, okay, you say you support GDK 21, but I can't use um, GDK 21 compatible source code yet. How come? I want to use GDK21 and say, oh, whoa, 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 slowly. Uh, we'll only be able to use uh, compatible source code with GDK21 a few years from now when the minimum version um, supported by Jenkins will be Java21. So slow down. And we have those two kinds of users. And if a of them is um, you know, pushing in a direction or another, and we have to find a consensus. Beauty of open source. Um, on the subject of JDK and Java 21 support, uh, Mark and I created, Mark created um, a spreadsheet listing the top 250 uh, top plugins. And we wanted to see if some of them were already ready to be um, run with JDK 21. And 
I think it was 60 something at the very beginning that were working on Mark or my machine directly, you know, the MVM uh, Clean Verify with JDK21 and the latest version of Maven. 60 or something or something like that were already working. So that was pretty encouraging. And making a pull request to get them tested on the infra with JDK21 was not difficult. Of course, we were just changing the Jenkins file, uh, replacing JDK11 um, by 21, and boom, uh, up we go. Some of them were more problematic. Uh, we had to make a few modifications in the pom.xml, like, for example, updating the pom parent, using the build of um, material plugin, things like that. And in the end, it would also work with JDK21. Some other ones are so outdated that it's just not possible for the time being without investing a lot of time to get them to work with JDK21. So the current status is that 84 of the 250 plugins are known to work with uh, Java 21. 31 are now tested with uh, Java 21 on the infra, that is our PR got merged and it's now tested every time somebody commits and something on the main branch, master branch, it does get tested with JDK 21. That's already pretty cool. And 13 of the 250 don't work yet with uh, Java 21 for different um, reasons. But that's progressing, and I'm pretty happy with that. Now, we had a question about Java 21 availability for some platforms, and specifically the S319X. When Tamarin released the um, Java 21 official, um, what was it, 21.0.0 plus 35, uh, there was no binaries for S319X. But before that, on the preview uh, binaries, in the weeks before, we had some S319X binaries. So we were kind of disappointed and we were wondering, uh, is S319X a platform we should not care about? Or is there something we can do or Tamarin will do about S319X? So uh, the latest news I got is that in the next preview images, which are 21.0.1 plus 12, uh, S319X images are back. But does it mean that we'll have an official a stamped one, you know, version that is available for S319X? I don't know yet. Um, I think I had something written. Uh, where were that? No, it's not there. Uh, sorry about that. Um, the thing is, on the Adoption Slack channel, they say that as soon as the GA test work for S319X, they will put back the images officially for S319X. But I don't know when or if this will happen so having the s390x binaries in the preview images is not um definitive sign that we will have an official release it's just something pending i'm not so sure about that would any one of you have any hints uh insight inputs about that okay <laughs> damien Sorry, for info, we are going to try the, um, the latest uh, non-stable version on the S390X agent that yeah. we have on, on CI Jenkins IO that should be available until end of week based on our availability. Mm -hmm. So if you want to run any tests on a plugin or whatever, we might be able to have it. It's already using the 21 plus 35 EA version already yeah. today. So yeah, we'll just update it manually one time. So yeah, uh, I I think it's just a matter of both license and the time and the availability of the machine they could have for this. Yeah. Kenneth, do you have any agents in S319X? Uh, no, but I could build it. Uh, sorry, you could build what i don't i don't have any agents but i could build oh. it uh, using the same framework i use for power oh okay uh, you don't have any agent but do you have any machines uh no 
No, I, I would emulate it like I do with Power. Okay, okay. Got it. I don't know why it wouldn't work. In fact, most of the tests already pass within Adoption. Uh, it's just that they can't make it official for them being at the rest of the test. I don't know enough about Java nice. and GA, but the GA... I think it would all work. You know, from what I could see in the scripts, it uh, just uses wget to pull down um, from GitHub. I don't see why it wouldn't work for System 390 if it's there. Yeah. Um, Damien, we have some S319X agents uh, within the Jenkins infra, right? Yes, yes, that's the one I mentioned on CI Jenkins IO. We have one. We don't want to provide one on the private networks, but it's on the public and on the public uh, CI Jenkins IO. And it's okay. na native one. I don't remember who is providing it, but yeah. And the for. USU. Mm. No, Maybe. it's not. Nope. It's not, but uh, the Sorry. University of Oregon or USU SL who, who happen to be a sponsor of the Jenkins platform and many other projects, they have access to PPC and S390X machine, as far as I can tell. Mm -hmm. So if we can we can request if you want, you can uh, talk to with them if you're an open source project. Yeah, yeah. okay. But um, to be sure I understood correctly, we have an S319X agent who happens to have the early access version of JDK21 available, right? Yes, absolutely. And if the infra team has time, you will install the EA beta version of 21.0.1 uh, uh, because it's available. Exactly. That will be done before end of week. OK. And the tools installer as well. Oh, yeah, of course. So as I saw a lot of uh, Commit pull request and so on. I don't know if it's regarding infra or the Docker image, but also Hervé worked quite a lot around the JDK 21 uh, this week and the week before. So, what's new in infra regarding uh, JDK 21? I guess most of the things are done to you, the latest official version now, no more EA beta. Uh, yes, on infra, we almost finished that transition. Uh, but most of the work that you mentioned were in fact on the Docker images that are the next yeah. item on your list. Yeah. Got but it. yeah, end of week, infrastructure will uh, won't have any more early available access version except for S three ninety X. All the other okay. machine will have final release of GDK twenty one. That's good news. Thanks a lot. Yes, for the images, so that's most of the PRs I saw this week and the week before. So I saw a lot of things from Hervé um, regarding Windows, uh, Linux, and so on. Uh, so almost all of the images are now uh, supplying uh, JDK21 images or uh, JDK21 preview, depending on the availability on Tamarin and also uh, yeah, Tamarin. I think that's the thing because uh, at 390 x no um, binary available for the uh, official release, but we have something regarding the preview. I think it's the same for PPC 64 LE, maybe. And ARM 32 as well. Yeah. So that's why uh, all of our images aren't using JDK 21 official release yet. We have to wait. Um, a few weeks ago, I told you about um, the classes in which uh, Tamarin provides some uh, binaries or not. And ARM32, PPC64, LE, S319X aren't part of the first classes. I think the third or even fourth classes. So if we have them, we're happy. But uh, sometimes you just have to wait. No, don't, don't be scared about these classes. It's just a matter of them to pipeline their work because they cannot yeah. process all the images at once. So that's why they do these waves because they know that it can take more time than, than expected. It can be a rabbit hole for this architecture most of the time. Yeah, but we had a, a good surprise uh, with the official release because I think they kept um, Alpine R64. And even if it's not in the first three classes, uh, it looks like it was working, so they supplied it. And that's a good thing because we rely on them. We have a few images with uh, mm -hmm. R64 for Alpine, so that's a good thing. 
So if I'm not mistaken, we are uh, supplying Java 21 or Java 21 preview. It may be the previous one of the one yep. which is the current preview for all our images, which is a good thing. Even for Windows. Yes. Yes. And thank you uh, to Avid for taking care of most of that, uh, especially for Windows. That's something I don't feel like working with. So <laughs> thanks a lot to Avid. Woohoo! And now that we're almost done with, we're done with JDK21. Uh, I saw also a few other things done on the Docker images. So I saw a few version bumps, for example, on SSH agent, which led to one new release of the 5.17.0. It was just a new version of Bookworm Linux. Of course, there were also other changes, but the one I saw, the most prominent one, was well, this one. Mm -hmm. For Docker Agent, I saw 12 releases yeah. in two weeks. Whoa! So le let me summarize it so we can jump ahead. Yeah, thank you. Now, since last LTS version, um, GDK 17 is the default. If you are not specifying your own GDK on the tag image. So for instance, if you download Jenkins slash agent latest, that will be GDK 17 instead of 11. That has been a recent change. And second thing is that we had a lot of, uh, yeah, of releases due to the GDK 21 you mentioned, but also you have to know that we had to, to release uh, an emergency release on the remoting. Uh, emergency is a big word. But we discover uh, on the infrastructure that the past two remoting version were breaking some cases yeah. when you have an inbound agent using a direct connection to Jenkins controller. So that's why we had so much releases of the agent remoting. The last version, which is mentioned on your document, has the yeah. problem fixed. So thanks for everyone involved there. We were able to detect it in less than 24 hours after it's uh, the previous release. Uh, yeah, so that version is ready to roll, so you can use it without any problem. Congrats, good work, thank you. And yes, also had to uh, take care of a boo boo I made a few weeks ago because uh, we released some version tagged with Bullseye and they were bookworm version. Thank you, Bono. Uh, so you also corrected that because one user was pretty much upset and he was right um, because he couldn't use his um, bullseye image like he used to do. That happens. I'm, I'm considering uh, printing stickers for the next FOSDEM <laughs> with Jenkins holding a sign and where it's written, friend, don't let friend use latest. And that You're sticker right. will be sent to any users who open issue like this user because they had a solution, they could have of course. pinned their vision and tracked their update, and instead they chose to to live on the edge. And when you live on the edge, you have to accept the risks. That's really important to be aware of that. Please pin your vision and use dependabot, update CLR, renovabot, whatever, to update it, so you won't have surprise updates when you are releasing something else in production. Yes. Uh... Today, I was lucky enough to give um, a, a course, um, a training lesson to young students about Docker. And of course, I used uh, some of the material you lent me, but also I insisted quite a lot that don't let friends use latest, use a pinned version. And frankly, I was um, refraining myself to kick them in uh, the head when I saw they were still using latest on some of their Docker files. Yes, using a pinned version, even with um, Digest, uh, that's one way to be sure that you won't have that kind of surprises most of the time. I, I may create a new level of boo-boos one of these days that even with not using latest, that could break everything. You never know. Anyhow, um, I also saw a lot of work on inbound agent, of course, um, because it depends on the um, Docker engine. So 12 new releases. And of course, like the other images, they had a breaking change, which is set uh, Java 17 as default. But frankly, um, you can't meet that one. It's just about everywhere. We put some uh, messages just about everywhere. So you should know that Java 17 is now the default in our images. I say that, but I got beaten uh, last week because one of my images was not using the 
pin version. And yeah, my fault. <sighs> and for the controller, we had two new releases. So a new LTA, the 2414.3, and the new weekly uh, 2.428. And of course, there also has been for the controller breaking chair that is uh, Java is now 17 by default for uh, the LTS. By the way, but... there is an issue in progress with the LTS image. No way. Um, the, if you were sticking with dash TDK 17, yeah. you are not having the latest LTS. We are working on this right now because that has been a side effect of the, the Java 17 by default. Oh. Um, it has been merged and it's currently being built for the weekly today, right now. And if it works, we will take care of creating manually these tags to avoid any rebuild or override of the existing images. But in 24 hours, you should be able to have the missing images. But that's an issue in progress, so better to mention it now. Please check the, the issue on the repository if you are interested or if you have the problem. OK, thanks for letting us know. Okay, but there won't be any change. There won't be no uh, 2.414.4 because of that. That has nothing to do. It's just a tag problem. Okay. Yep. Got it. And thank you, Kevin, for putting the link to that PR that got merged so that the changelog warns about uh, JDK 17. So people will know about that. You just can't escape that message. At least if you have a look at the change logs. <laughs> Not everybody does. Anyhow, that's all I had on the agenda. Is there anything else you would like to address? OK, I take that for a no. So let's wrap it up. Uh, the video should be available from 24 to 48 hours. And we should see each other two weeks from now. So we will already be in November. Um, thanks a lot for your time and see you hopefully two weeks from now. Bye-bye.